Hey guys, I'm Andy, and I'm here to talk to you about all things mundane and makeup related. So if that's your vibe, I would love it if you would subscribe to my part of my slice of the internet. So let's go ahead and get on into today's video, which is going to be my April ice cream beauty box. So if you don't know anything about this box, it is five to six usually full size items for the box itself is $25. They do have a bag version, which I think is $12.50 a month. I don't get the bag, so don't quote me on the price of that. I get the box. But there's always a little card which will tell you all your retail prices and a little blurb. And it's always a cute little theme. So April is spring on the horizon. And your box will come with little dissolvable peanuts in it. I already took those out. And yeah, let's just, we're just going to dive on in. And we're going to start with this little guy. So this is Beauty for Certain. Um, and then the only thing about this box, you don't ever get to make choices. So, but I don't mind that. So Beauty for Certain. This is a matte liquid lipstick. And this is $22. It's in the shade 22 there are a few shade variations of this matte liquid lipstick. They're pigmented matte lipsticks, so be sure to prep your lips with a lip balm to avoid dry lips. You can also top it with a clear gloss. So you might have gotten a different shade if you do get this box. Like I said, I have the shade 22. So. It smells like chocolate. That's nice. And there's the shade there. It's a very nice shade. It's like a chocolatey, but with some pink in it. It's cute. I think that this is a little more unique to my collection because it's more brown. Because I'm looking right now at my lipsticks. It's more brown than the pinks that I have, but it's a little more pink than the browns that I have. So I'm not mad at that little guy. And I, I don't mind a liquid lip, so... Next we have from Charmancy, which we get a lot of their products in Ice Cream Beauty Box. And this is the Multi-Chrome Liquid Eyeshadow, and this is $12. So here is, I got the shade OVIP6. Do not be fooled by the color in the bottle. This is magic in a bottle. It can be used on its own or as an eyeshadow topper. Once this product sets, it can no longer be blended out or you'll start to see it get patchy. Make sure you work quickly and apply plenty. Oh, there is a seal. So let me do my best here to get the... I've never understood that. Like, if you're going to put something in a box, why also put a plastic seal on it? That just irks me to my core. But we got it. That was easy. So I'm seeing, like, a mint green to a pinky purple is what I'm seeing. It smells like limes. That is interesting. So looking at it down like this, I see gold. Ooh, and you guys see like a pinky purple. Ooh. Oh, that's pretty. And see, it doesn't say that there's a shade variation on this, so I don't know if everyone got this shade six, but... That's gorgeous. So, next we got something from Deuce or Duce. I always forget how you pronounce this. And this is also a variation item. So, you could have either gotten the Magic Marker Eyeliner, which is what I got, or the Lip Gloss Topper, which I kind of wish I would have gotten that. But they either one, I guess, retails for $23. And like I said, I got the Bold Control Graphic Marker Eyeliner. And then I would assume 
in black? It doesn't say. This is a very Asian eyeliner, which will either be a basic black eyeliner or a clear gloss topper. Oh, well. The eyeliner container is thick, making it easier to apply. The glossy top coat provides a multi-dimensional and vibrant shine. See, so yeah, I wish I would have gotten the lip gloss. So let me... Oh, it's one of these. Oh, I'm putting the lid right back on that. And nope, I don't do... I will make a mess of myself with that. I can't even hardly get a good wing with a tiny felt tip like this. A chubby felt tip like that. And I will just make a mockery of myself. So we're not even going to contaminate that. So now I absolutely wish I would have gotten the lip gloss. See, and now that they're, I've never seen them do like variations like this. So if there's going to be variations, I wish that we could go in ahead of time and make a choice for which variation we want. Or that we could have a profile set up to say, hey, I would prefer these things. Next we have from Chantico Beauty. And this is exclusive to the box, and it's a duochrome duo for $20. We're excited to feature this exclusive mini palette, and it features one multi-chrome and one duochrome. So I'm just gonna take out this little guy. These, the sparkle and shift on these are amazing. Pack on the color with your finger, the provided sponge brush, or a flat brush for the best result. So, they are super soft. They are gorgeous. Okay, I'm not mad at it. Can I peel off? Because it's a mirror. Are you going to give me... I'll have to mess with that later. But... Okay. And then last but not least, we got... Ah, from Ofra. Because we seem to always get a palette. And this is the Mini Mix Good To Go palette. And this is $39. $39. You won't need anything besides this palette, foundation, and lipstick com to complete a beautiful look. No mirror. And this is what she looks like. This palette contains a value of $109 all in one easy to take with you palette. You have a blush, bronzer, and a highlighter, and then seven beautiful eyeshadow shades. So we're going to swatch these. Do you tell me what shades they are? Yes. So the blush is in Intentions, the bronzer is in Current, I would assume. So here's the blush and the bronzer. And see, like, this is another thing. Like, yes, those are going to work for me. But my darker complected people who get this box, like, this is not going to be an all-in-one palette, palette for them. The eyeshadow, the highlights in the shade All the Lights. So I think it's Pillow Talk. Um, I forget. So I'm just going to go in the center and kind of mix them all together. So that's the shade if you mix them all, which is pretty. And then what shades do we have? We have Ambition, Clean Slate, Reset, okay, very, very pretty, and then the mint is Fresh. Then we have ready and goals. That mint. So all in all, very, very pretty. 
And I'm excited to have this. And they're all magnetic pans, so I can always pull them out of this kind of crappy cardboard palette, but I digress on that. But the overall value of my box was $116, which is a great value because they said paid $25. Bucks. Um, I like everything, but I do wish I would have gotten the lip gloss because I'm not going to use this liner. So I might save this for a giveaway. I might send this to my friend because I do have a box of makeup that I'm in the process of sending to a friend with all my declutters. So I don't know. Because I kind of want to start saving things for a 500 subscriber giveaway. But let me wait. I'll see if my friend wants this. If she doesn't want this, then I'll save this for the giveaway. That 4A giveaway. But $116 value, which... It's still, all the things that I'm keeping, I'm happy with. I'll definitely need to try this lipstick out. But all the other sparkly things, very happy with. Let me know, did you get this box? What do you think of it? And all of your comments, questions, concerns, everything down below. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.